Hey guys, my name is Chris Reichert and today we get to talk about Gazelle e-bikes. More specifically, we're gonna talk about the Gazelle Ultimate, the bike that you're gonna see back behind me. So Gazelle has been around for a very, very long time. They were originally founded back in 1892, so they've been around over 120 years and they've been producing bikes that entire time. If you ever think about the Netherlands and that very traditional Dutch bike, guess what? That's Gazelle. So when you see all those bikes piled up at the train station whenever you visit Europe, that's such a part of their culture. They've been doing this for years and years and years. And while e-bikes may be a new thing, I think the performance, the fit, the characteristics and durability that you want out of a bike have really been put to the test all throughout Europe. So before we get into the model specifics on the Gazelle Ultimate, I wanna talk a little bit about the rest of the Gazelle line and some of the features that you'll see widely throughout all bikes that they make. One of the things that I really like about the Gazelle line is that they've taken into consideration specking every model with very easy to replace parts. Now, that doesn't seem like something that is crazy or an idea outside of the box, but wait until you've got a proprietary part, a motor that is only made by one manufacturer that's backed up to the end of the earth and you can't find that part. Your bike is useless, especially when it's an e-bike that needs a motor and a battery. Gazelle has done a really good job of making sure that they're using motors from Bosch, easy to find, easy to replace, parts that can easily be specced in almost any bike shop. All of those things that pretty much every shop already has on their shelf. So whether you're here in Northern California and you can swing into a Mike's Bikes to have your bike repaired or you're somewhere else in the country, you'll always be able to be taken care of with parts that can be found in every shop. The next thing that I really love about the Gazelle line is that they've taken consideration into the durability of the bike. Gazelle, again, given their great heritage in all of this commuting and, and everything that they do, they actually champion one of the biggest paint processes in the world. So just like an everlasting gobstopper, they layer paint over paint over paint. So when you do have to put it up against, you know, a pole outside and run your chain lock around it, or you've got it on that train situation and somebody dings up against yours, your bike's always going to be able to maintain a nice aesthetic. You're never gonna have that paint chip. Another nice feature that you'll see throughout the line more broadly comes back to the fit. I mentioned it a minute ago in our intro, but Gazelle has taken great consideration into understanding that you're not in fancy Lycra with a big pad underneath your saddle. On these bikes, you're gonna be in your street clothes for the most part. And so that means you've gotta have great comfortable seats, you've gotta have nice ergonomic grips, and you need to have a nice upright position so that you can actually see the road. You'll see that pretty largely throughout their entire line. All right, so let's talk about the Gazelle Ultimate. That's the point of, I guess, this entire video. So the Gazelle Ultimate, as you can imagine by the name, is the tip of the spear, the highest in the line. When I'm thinking about how this bike fits into the rest of the e-bikes within the Gazelle universe, we have the Arroyo, which is mainly focused on comfort. And then we have the Medeo, which is focused on speed and fitness and a more active personality. The Ultimate, I think, bridges that gap very nicely, but also brings in a lot of other features that make it usable every day or usable for pretty much any situation. And as you can imagine, it does come in at a slightly higher price point than the other two models. Before we talk about the motors specific to the Ultimate series, let's just give a little education on the types of motors that you're gonna see in Gazelle bikes. Gazelle sells mainly class one and class three bikes. That means class one will take you up to 20 miles an hour based on pedal assist. So no throttle, you have to be pedaling in order to get up to that speed and class three will take you up to 28 miles an hour. Again, pedal assist only. Class two is that weird space where you have a throttle and Gazelle doesn't actually spec any of those bikes here in the United States. Gazelle has paired 500 watt hour batteries with their performance series motors. Depending on the motor that you've got, you'll have range anywhere from full gas on full turbo mode up to around 20 to 25 miles all the way up to around 60 miles when you're on eco mode. If you need to know a little bit more about the battery and the range, there's a link that I'll put down below so you can go in and explore your motor paired with what battery you've got and see how much distance and range you should expect depending on the terrain that you're riding within. If you're still worried about range anxiety, the nice thing about the Ultimate Series is that you've got the ability to add in a second battery in. So you can add another 500 watt hours of battery charge into these bikes that easily attaches to the frame making it really seamless and doubling effective range. Now we're gonna talk about some of the features that you'll see throughout the Ultimate line. 
The first thing that you should notice is that some of the different ultimate models start with C and others start with T. So models like the C380 and the T10. Models that start with C will all have an internally geared hub, meaning that they have no external drivetrain. This is a great feature because when you've got that internal drivetrain, you have all of the same gears, all of the same range to be able to get you up and down hills or increase your speed as much as you'd like, but you have no external derailleur that could get bumped if you've got it on the train or get bumped if you've got it in a rack with other bikes. The models that start with T all have a standard external drivetrain, like most people would, would remember, that has a standard derailleur that shifts between all of your gears. So with the models that all have that internal hub, it's actually a Gazelle internal hub that they call the Enviello. In, in, can I get some help on the screen here with that? Enviolo. Can, can we talk about the pronunciation? Enviolo. If you go into the store and you ask for this, don't, don't be ashamed if you don't know how to pronounce it. The Enviello internal hub allows you to have effectively a continuous drivetrain. So there are no gears to shift in between. It just gives you a linear progression as you move up and down the range of different speeds. The other nice thing about that NVLO hub is the fact that it runs off of a Gates belt drive. Belt drives are phenomenal. They give you effectively endless chain life or belt life, and they also don't need to be lubricated or cleaned. They stay effectively perfect for their entire lifetime. Again, adding into the durability of the bike. Paired with those drivetrains, you'll also see chain guards, which is something that, again, most people seem to gloss right over and forget about how important that is. But imagine you're gonna start commuting to work and you've got on a nice dress pant and you get that caught in your chain and you end up with grease that runs up your leg. Your boss sees that and then all of a sudden he's like, hey, you're not as professional as you should be and you're fired. Well, you now you don't have to worry about that. It's great. It could happen. Next, I wanna talk about some of the additional features, some of the add-ons that are bolted onto these bikes. All of the bikes are going to come with fenders already attached, which means whether it's rainy or sunny, or there's dirt or puddles, whatever it is, you're going to be able to ride this in your standard street clothes without getting a big streak of water up the back of you. All of the bikes come with pre-installed racks, meaning that it's very easy to add on any bags that you want, whether you're commuting to work and need something that can hold your laptop, or you wanna have on something like a grocery pannier so you can use this as your everyday bike. One of my favorite considerations that Gazelle takes on many of the bikes in their line and every bike within the Ultimate line is the addition of what they call a cafe style lock. This is a lock that goes and locks the back wheel. It's already attached to the frame. It's not something that you need to carry with you. It allows you to have a key that just runs through the back wheel, locks that back wheel in place so that nobody can take that bike away doesn't mean that you can't have an additional lock that can lock it around a pole or around something on the street, but this gives you that very quick safety for when you're just stopping into any store. On top of that, you'll also have access to lights, both front and rear, that are powered by the main system battery. This is also something that's great because you don't want to be charging your lights and then putting those on and off. Because you've already got a battery within the system, this gives you that opportunity to just have lights running all, to all the time day or night. Earlier in the video, I also mentioned the considerations taken for comfort. If you're new to bikes, you might be a little bit worried that bikes are uncomfortable. We've all probably had a pretty rotten experience with a bike at one time or another. Gazelle has taken great consideration into that, not only with just their upright riding position, but with the addition of, as I mentioned, gel seats and ergonomic grips. All of the bikes also will come fitted with suspension forks to make sure that you're able to take up any big road hit that you've got any pothole or crater in the road is gonna be easily soaked up by those suspension forks. Nothing will ruin your day quicker than a flat tire. And so all of the Ultimate Series bikes are specced with very durable tires by Schwalbe. Again, another very reputable brand within the tire space to make sure that you're not gonna get punctures or any cuts from anything that you'll run over while on the road. Alrighty, the fun part. Now you get to pick which model you're interested in. Within the Ultimate line, you're gonna see a range of prices anywhere from 37.50 all the way up to around 4750. For the most part, all of the models are very similar in terms of the frame and the features that are added on. The added cost is going to come in when you consider what the drivetrain is, so whether you have an internal hub or an external rear derailleur, and depending on which motor you have represented in the bikes. All right, so that's it. We've covered pretty much everything in the Gazelle Ultimate line. If you're looking for a bike that is perfect for riding around your neighborhood with kids, or all the way to commuting a really, really long commute, 
the Gazelle Ultimate can kind of do everything and do it really well. So if you're interested in any, in any of these models, uh, feel free to stop by any of our stores if you're in Northern California, or if you're not in our area, you can always order these online. If you have any questions, please feel free to throw them down below in the comments, or you can always get in touch with our online sales team. They are absolute wizards. We pay them literally to know these things. So if you have questions, please use them as a resource and they're here to help. For the next one, we'll see you then. Bye.